The founder of Afe Babalola University, Ado Ekiti, Afe Babalola has said that Tinubu government is making Nigerians to become beggars and is leading them to poverty. Afe Babalola described the palliative being distributed to Nigerians by the federal government as the worst form of welfare, saying that this is turning the people to beggars and leading them to poverty. Afe Babalola said those who are complaining about hunger are doing so sincerely. They are hungry. A hungry man can go to any land to show his anger. We do not need anybody to tell us that there is hunger in the country. The protest was genuine and the government should listen to them. But you know it's so unfortunate that we have people at the helm of affairs that are cut out from the reality. Nigerian politicians, including the president, they are living in an alternate Nigeria. They live in a Nigeria with abundance of food, a Nigeria that is secured, a Nigeria that has a very strong economy and a currency, a Nigeria that has so much employment, a Nigeria that the minimum wage is over 1 million naira. Of course, they are not living in a Nigeria that over 200 million persons are living in. And in a Nigeria that over 200 million persons are living in, there is hunger in the land and the people are suffering. Rather than listening to the people, rather than taking cognizance of their demands, the government waved it aside. The government sent her propaganda machine to go on air to gaslight Nigerians that were complaining of hunger, telling them that there is nowhere that there is no hunger. There is hunger everywhere in the world. There is hardship everywhere in the world. There is inflation everywhere in the world. They were even using countries like UK to tell Nigerians that it is not greener elsewhere. Nigerians finally protested, but rather than protecting Nigerians that were protesting, they rather released the security agencies on them and some Nigerians were killed, some of them tear gas, some of them were arrested and according to the government, the sponsors of this protest, their accounts were frozen. The reason for all this is not far-fetched. It's because the people we have at the helm of affairs, they are cut out from the reality. They don't feel the pains you are feeling. These guys have unhindered access to the nation resources. They squander it, they lavish it, they waste it the way they deem it right. They've turned themselves as demigod. These guys have absolutely nothing to offer Nigerians. The duty of the government is the welfare of the people. If a government cannot take care of the welfare of the people, then that government is an irresponsible government. Any government that we watch her citizens to go hungry is an irresponsible government. But in the case of Nigeria, it is more than irresponsible. I don't know the word to use to describe the Nigerian government because we are not only facing hunger problem, we are facing insecurity, we are facing unemployment, we are facing out of school children, we are facing high cost of living, we are facing inflation and the worst of it all, we are facing inefficiency in all the government institution in this country, we are equally facing corruption. This country is facing the worst form of disaster that any nation can experience in the whole world. Security is the number one primary responsibility of a government, but a government cannot protect her citizens. Farmers can hardly go to farm. That is the reason why we are having food crisis. Farmers in the north hardly go to the farm because terrorists have taken over their farmland. Those that manage to go to the farm, they will have to pay terrorist levies before they can have access to their farmland. And these terrorists will also take levies from these farmers before these farmers can harvest their crops. This is such a disaster and the security agencies cannot arrest these terrorists. They cannot even locate where these terrorists are. It is not that they cannot do it, but they choose not to do it because these same security agencies will arrest and locate anyone that insults the government on social media. How were they able to locate people that were talking about the protests on TikTok? The security agencies are so effective in harassing citizens than going after real criminals. Bandits are even having free day on TikTok. They have an account on TikTok. They are sharing money on TikTok. But the security agencies, they are yet to arrest any of these bandits so that our farmers can go to farm. Our farmers can move freely in their farmland. When are they going to go after these Fulani terrorists that are masquerading as headsmen that have destroyed the farming activities in the North Central? Like I said, they are not interested in any of this. Where their interest lies is harassing innocent Nigerians. Whereas politicians that are looting this country, those that are stealing our oil, they are walking freely. Look at Yaya Belo. EFCC is still playing hide and seek with Yaya Belo. 
to make the matter worse coupled with the food inflation we are facing the president is increasing the interest rate it devalue the currency that is the reason why the cost of things in the market they've gone so high i think this is a deliberate attempt to keep the people perpetually poor so that they can throw crumbs at the people and the people will be at their mercy this is the reason why they are given rice sharing rice to nigerians like nigerians are beggars if only this rice they are sharing will get to the people that are hungry that will be commendable but the truth of the matter is this same rice goes back to the government's house and this rice are being repackaged and sold to the public this is what we are experiencing in this country but the federal government keep doing this over and over again and you want to tell me this is not a deliberate attempt to sabotage the economy make the people poor keep them hungry so the people can be internally loyal to them there is no economy that grows by sharing of rice. The only way an economy can grow is when the environment is friendly, is when the people can be able to create jobs for themselves. People that are doing business will have the ease of doing business. This is what improves a country GDP. Ever wonder why Nigeria GDP has gone down ever since APC came into power? It is because they've stifled the economy. They've made the economy to be so bad that the people cannot produce what they are supposed to be producing. The people that are in business, they've gone out of business. Nigerians cannot even form businesses anymore because the capital to form the business is no longer there. Foreign companies have been operating in this country for a very long time. They've exited this country ever since Bolami Atinibu and Buhari came into power. Just in one year, 16 foreign companies exited this country. Reason the gay for them leaving the country is because of insecurity and unfavorable business environment. This was not so when Gulok Ebele Jonathan was in power. In 2012, Nigeria economy was rated the third fastest growing economy in the world. During Gulok Ebele Jonathan tenure, I did not hear or see where the government share rise. The only time they were palliative was when there was an emergency like flooding in Nigeria. These things were sent to people that were affected by flooding. But do you know what? The last flood we experienced in 2023 government did not send any emergency relief to the people they neglected the people the reason is not far fetched that's because they don't believe in palliative the only time government want to share palliative is when election is around the corner they give you palliative rice indomie and some bulk of money to buy your vote but unfortunately bola metinibu has become a government of palliative you complain of hunger, they give you rice you complain of electricity they give you rice you complain of unemployment they give you rice every complaint in this country has been met with distribution of rice unfortunately this rice is yet to get to the intended people that need it all of a sudden they've turned nigerians to beggars some nigerians are looking forward to receiving rice from the government rather than creating an enabling environment for everyone to work and earn a living the government will decide to stifle the economy so they can give you rice by your conscience and make you a lawyer servant to them. The only reason why they are doing all this thing is because you are the enablers. You enable these people to do what they are doing. Until we rise up to the occasion and stop these people from seeing us as beggars, they will continue seeing us as beggars. Not only as beggars, but as captured slaves. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.